guys welcome back to Ali Care and I know because of the tag line what you see I should have been in my bed or having something like a little laundry and so forth but guess what I can't do that because it's not about me it's about you and it's about you motivating your girl your wife right and remember, I have a disclaimer on this video. I'm not saying that young ladies, you must get up and go out there and have sex. I'm putting on a disclaimer. The only way you're supposed to have sex, you must get married, have your spouse, get married to him. And when you're married, you're legal to have sex. You, you, there is a license to have sex, you know, you have to get married, sign some document, go in front of a pastor, that's when you're supposed to get married, okay? So let's move on and get right into this video. Alright, this video has been requested by many of my subscribers and people who I know and who don't even watch the channel, just ask me to do videos for them on it. And I'm a female, right? And I'm going to tell you this. There are a few things that a woman should know if, ha if they have sex and why they should have sex, they would be better off in life. The f I'm going to say a few things where if a woman watching this, especially if she's a Christian, she might rebuke me with the blood of Jesus, right? And even if she's not Christian, she's going to curse me, right? Because even if somebody tell me that, me I get mad too. But we can't run away from the truth. Facts is just facts, right? And would I do it? Hell no. I don't know. I'm saying no now. But you never know down the line if I would do it. I'm not married, guys. So I'm not legal to have sex. So I can't answer the question. But me used to have sex before. And a lot of it too. Right? So, at the end of the day, I know it's, um, what I'm talking about. Alright? And I know some of the things that I might said, there are a lot of ladies can watch the video and contest to that men i'm gonna tell you before i get into the reason why a woman should have sex and what you can do to make your woman always want sex from you before i get into it please listen this carefully do not skip through the video are you new here because if you're watching my video for the first time you need to hit the subscribe button touch that notification bell like and comment when done right don't miss out don't miss out on all the wonderful videos then that i put up right and what is beneficial for you now let me tell you something i do love people and i want to give you the best so even though i have certain beliefs and certain things i still have to think of you guys and come with the best for you so regardless of my beliefs i have to do what is right which is just facts of human nature women need to have sex right just like men do but men sometimes i want to turn off the woman and make them know i have no sex you know like for instance if men have sex right as a male and female if we have sex and all you determine is to do is fling me this and fling me right there and as you come you just feel good and it's done then men go say to myself say why me need to bother have sex i don't need to bother have sex because you know please me right i could just say that because why why need to have sex and that's why most female then that's if demand things from male money or material things because they said that the sex don't benefit them benefit the male so male need to pay up or male need to stand up and give them things to, to keep them in their life and that is where you have men you know not having a woman by their side often or they get born because they don't know how to please their woman Secondly, again, let me get into this one. You have the ladies them that love sex now. You have some ladies that will stay with you and love sex. But, you know, she you knows you have a treat and so forth. But you have ladies out here that love sex. So their harmony is so high that they will give you bond, leave your anchor out there, go look it because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Reason being, when you're having sex, it's not something that as you feel the urge you just grab it and you just go no because a second come is like spitting on the ground right you have to nurture a woman to have her stimulated to keep on having sex with her 
right now i'm going to tell you at the end some of the things you can do because even though i said it you will say why my woman have sex you know sometimes which we married long or two we get together long sometimes once a week or sometimes twice out of two months you can get your woman having sex with you as often as you want it so keep watching this video and you will learn right so let's get into the woman part because that's the main point of the video and then at the end i will tell you and show you some of the things that you can use to keep your woman stimulated and female if you are worried how you're going to keep on being stimulated to have sex because when you hear of some of the reasons that you need to have sex you're gonna want to practice this method so let's begin this video all right so number one why a woman should have sex you ever notice some women and they look very miserable and stressed out they look at in them bite and then get ignorant especially a lady that talk very loud and yap at the least the thing you said miserable and vulgar trust me she needs some good sex good sex will get her calm and she stay calm so good sex to a female keep her very calm and less miserable secondly good sex make it stay young all these wrinkles that you have in your body and giant pain and big stomach sex let you have flat stomach it works you out you burn a lot of calories you notice most girls that you see looking sexy and so forth they love sex right and ladies if you want to stay healthy you ever see some big woman who active and having sex or get a young boy and then not saying that is right don't get me wrong look at them and start up more perky them start to focus more they start to work better then just do everything them start to dress better them start to take more um get more self-confidence in how they how they look and they start to take care of themselves better when you have sex third thing is that it take away insomnia yeah you can't you can't sleep hard to relax feeling agitated wake up in the night um getting obese eating overnight sex will take away that so sex stopping from eating junk food you don't have time for that you have some good sex show on the sleep sleep right through the morning without getting up in the night and snacking getting food and that bad stomach and so forth so sex is good for a woman fibroids and so forth women you know that when you eat a lot of chicken taking a lot of hormone products you're not burning it out because you just keep stay there loggy and so forth so you end up have more um more fibroids you go to the doctor here you have 10 5 6 7 fibroids but they're not ready yet get have some good sex and it will go down right so fibroids help you sex help your fibroids um if when you have some sex and you keep your body energetic it fights all of those disease and remember there are videos and precaution on how to have sex if you have fibroids right so i'm not telling to get somebody to brutalize you but the hormone your body and the sperms in the man is good for you so if if you can go to the doctor and get tested for hiv and so forth is good because these sperms have a lot of things in there that to nurture the body because reason why a wild man sperms having so much things in it is because it needs it God knows that it joined two persons together and when he joined two persons together the man belongs to the woman as in that they connect so the fluid from the man help to cure some kind of infection in the woman also can give her infection and deadly disease so as I said you have to get tested you have to trust each other you have to get married before you do these things don't get me wrong take regular checkups so that's why wife and husband when they're having sex they don't use condom well some of them right but it's good to protect yourself use condom all the time even if you're married if you don't trust your partner and sometimes it has nothing to do with trust but get yourself regular checked because anything can happen right so i don't want to get into that but i'm just telling the benefit of sex for female the man um, sperms have zinc it have um copper it have vitamin b and c and d it's good for your body right nutrient nutrients in it that will help your body i believe that when a man and a woman get married and having sex they become one and whatever the man intake or the woman take intake they need to look out for each other because it's like protein it's like giving baby breast milk 
do you understand is that like giving baby breast milk the, the, the child need at least two years of breast milk to get well for like two years it's less less problem less sickness the child have and everything so it's the same thing when a man and a woman having sex and the sperm is going to the woman it end up give the woman good nutrients for the body but it can also be harmful because as i said you have so much stds going around don't get me wrong abstain if you can and use condom right and just eat properly right so you don't really need the man sperm so i'm telling you if he ejaculate in you it and clean and it's your husband then i'm telling you it is worth your while the next thing again i want to tell you about sex and this is something that most um female um wonder sex keep you active sex keep you from depression and i, and I said before insomnia and and belly cramps right so this is the reason why you need to have sex to stay younger no wrinkles on your face and when you reach 40 and 30 ladies you don't you don't look when you reach 40 and 30s ladies you don't look at age right when a woman is having sex you just stay younger and you end up have a better life and you keep your family together and you keep your husband um with you so have sex take care of your body and i tell you less cancer less less everything you burn some calories you sweat out you you just feel revived and refreshed like getting a good detox and a body massage right now ladies if you're ha if you want to have sex and you realize that you're um you're not having that urge anymore right there are certain things you can ask your spouse to do first i talk about the meringue uh, moringa wherever however you pronounce it right this is the seed blend it up because when eating it it tastes a little bit bitterish sweetish and, and and a little uh, you know stainish kind of feeling but if you continue to eat it you won't feel it i sell it i deliver it to you whether overseas or jamaica right but what you can do is blend it up you ox out the seed blend it up Put it in the blender and blend it up with some oats and uh, some um, green juice, which I, whether it's color or cabbage, blend up everything together and have it at least three or twice, three times or twice a week, or as often as you have the time to make it. This build up your immune system and stimulate your sex drive. Also, there's a next thing you can do. This is coconut oil, and it's not every coconut oil that you see that you're going to buy and use right this coconut oil it said organic and it's high use but a natural one right so you use this coconut oil and what you're going to do you're going to lie down right and you can show you how to massage the clitoris and gentlemen this is what you do for your ladies right remember i said to you that you need to know how to keep your woman stimulated so this is the clitoris when you put the oil on it and you take your time don't dig down like that take your time and massage it just the clit do not insert your finger into the vagina just the clit alone and you do this right do not take off your clothes like you want sex or anything just massage it for her right do not attempt to have sex with her even if you are turned on, bear it and just massage it for her.